Wait a minute, hold on. Please ground. Please ground that hurt. Okay, um, it's really two parts. One, and they're really short. They're short and they're not about insurance. Okay, <laughs> the first one, um, I just wanted to say, I'm a member of AMTA and ADMP, and um, I love both organizations for different reasons. But I wanted to just tell you guys when we talk about like people are saying politics, you gotta get involved, you gotta vote. I just wanted to share that in North Carolina, because of our AMTA North Carolina chapter, we are able to keep North Carolina from um, passing sales tax on massage therapy. If it weren't for the AMTA North Carolina, none of the therapists would have known about it because it wasn't really in the paper, it wasn't publicized. But because they had uh, people going to meetings, uh, state senate, state house meetings, they actually knew about it and were able to pass the word on it. So I encourage you, even if you're not a member of an organization, to pay attention to what's going on because we did fight together and people did write our senators and, and representatives and at least temporarily table it. This is going to be a national issue too. I'm hearing about sales tax and massage therapy all over the country. So please keep your ears to the ground for stuff like this because when it's passed, it's passed. It's not going to get repealed. It's going to be for good. And so my second, and my tiny question, you don't have to answer this very long. I just want a general answer, but it's for less. And that is, I know that AMTA is really all politically with lobbying and licensing and stuff. And someone recently asked me, well, what does ADMP do? And I haven't been a member as involved or as long. I didn't know what the answer was. I felt kind of embarrassed. So just generally, what does ADMP do on that legislative cover our back sort of level? Thank you, Felicia. Um, ADMP has been, I've been with the organization since 1994. One of the reasons that one of the, the tasks that I was tasked with when I was hired was to oversee our government relations program. Uh, about four years ago, we had uh, hired a lady by the name of Jean Robinson, who's the government relations director for us. Some of you who have worked on legislative issues in your state may know of Jean already or have had an opportunity to work with her. And depending on what side of the argument you're on, you might think she's fantastic or you might think she's a real pain in your rear end. Um, and I, I hear reports from both. People will say, thank you so much for sending us Jean, and other people will say, what do we do to you to send us Jean? Um, we've been involved in legislative activities uh, in many cases, uh, side by side with APA, in some cases on the other side of the fence with APA, since I've been involved. And uh, more often lately, we've been working together, and we've gotten to a really good place of uh, being proactive and uh, working in, for example, uh, the state of Illinois is in the process of now accepting the emblems we had in the past. That was a joint effort between the leadership, uh, government relations folks on APA National and NG. Um, anybody who's in Kentucky is aware of the work that's been done to get the NLEX accepted there as well as some other changes in the legislation. Um, Gene's been instrumental in doing that. As an organization, um, we don't have a chapter structure. So we don't have a built in system where we have one person who's, who's involved in it. But we do have a volunteer network. And we are uh, very proactive about communicating with our members. And a lot of times, and in the case of Kentucky, we had somebody who said, hey, I'd like to be involved in this. And we said, absolutely, we're delighted. And we have somebody who's kind of a liaison for us. Um, so I, I would, it's, it's not my nature or my right to brag, um, but I, I can say in the four years that we've specifically had Jean engaged in this process, she's become one of the foremost authorities on regulation in the massage field. And she's worked, she works in a, with a coalition right now in Vermont, which is in her legislation. Changes Wisconsin just changed from Title Protection to a practice act. She was in working on that. She essentially ran the process that got Colorado state regulation in the past year. Part of that was because of her expertise and her experience. So we're engaged uh, on uh, legislative issues, and we have been 